Hello there, guys. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. And welcome. Everybody, please, with your cameras on, full name, and full name, full name. Hello, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Deborah Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Thank you very much. Edson Andy, Andoni Guzman Landaverde, not present. Fatima Fejenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Thank you, Fatima. Fernando Ernesto Costa Morales. Present. Thank you, sir. Hector Eduardo Lopez Varela. Hector Eduardo, not present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Jose Antonio. Not present. Jose Saul Gonzalez Roque. Present. Thank you. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you, sir. Miriam Carolina Mosso Valdez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Miriam, get your questions ready. 10 to 10, 10 today, okay? Tengo que entrar a la plataforma y dice. Okay. Miriam, hoy le toca. De 10 a 10 y 10. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Aliste todo ahí. Juan Alfonso okay. Madrid Escalante. Present. Thanks. Juan Marcelo Alvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mavala Castro. Present. Thanks. Sandra Elisa de los Hortos Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Thanks. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thanks. Luis Sumaña Orellana. Present. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn Emelda Rivas Sabarca. Present. Thank you. And I got Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Present. Thank you. 
Alrighty. Hector, José Antonio, and Zina. Any of you here? No? All righty. Let's get this done. Yes. Hector se salió del grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, no, hombre. Ya le voy a escribir. Yo sí, WhatsApp. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Um, how are you doing with the platform, guys? Most of you are already finished. I see. ¿Cómo con la plataforma? ¿Quién falta? Mi teacher, pero hoy me pongo en la noche. Mi teacher. No tenía cómo ingresar, pero ya tengo. Okay, very good, very good. Remember, um, it is important to cover attendance, platform, and at the end, the, uh, what? the, uh, the survey, right? La encuesta. So keep it in mind. Um, let me see. Oh, news. Me han pedido administración que les recuerde, señores, que la fecha límite para la documentación es... Pues hombre, tío, que he perdido el chat. Dime a seca. Here it is. Yep, that's right. De hecho, lo han pasado para el 11. Aparentemente, martes 11. Que es nuestro último día de clase. Ajá, la tenían para el viernes, la pasaron para el 11. Ah, si bien es cierto, esto depende de recursos humanos, señores. Eh, también ustedes nos pueden apoyar poniéndose en contacto con los encargados para que consulten cómo el proceso y asegurarse que los documentos fueron enviados con la fecha adecuada. Okay? Um, y también me han pedido que les recuerde que el hecho de que envíen los documentos les garantiza la reserva del cupo, pero obviamente que, que aprueben depende de, de su asistencia. ¿De qué más depende? Las tareas. De las de la plataforma, correcto. ¿Qué más? Les acabo de mencionar. Homework, assistant, attending, ¿cómo es la cosa? Ajá, ¿cuál es lo último que les mencioné que va a pasar el martes? El survey. La encuesta. El survey, that's right. Survey. ¿Y nos vale solo con la asistencia o también tenemos que poner los minutos? Los minutos. Minutes. Ajá. 80%. 80%. Of that's... 80%. That's correct. Alrighty then. So today we're going to be working with, um, we're going to start with reading and then we're going to start with phrasal verbs. Okay. So let's get down to business. Vamos a empezar rápido ahora. En tanto, wiri wiri, porque, you know, we have a lot to do today. It's, it's going to be a long day. Now, because of this, we're going to go direct to the reading part. Repeat after me, please. Reading. 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 Read the following tips. Read the Read following, the following, tips. following, following tips. tips. Explore it a little bit more. Tips. 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 That's right. Tips. On how to organize. Uh, on to how to organize. organize. A preventive maintenance plan. A preventive maintenance plan. Now, everything together. Read the following tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Yeah. Read the following tips on how to organize a maintenance plan. Good. Volunteer, please. No. To read. Yo... Go ahead, Jocelyn. Read the following tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Good job. Everybody, please. Step one. Step, Step one. one. Step one. <laughs> Get the right people on board. Get, Get, the, Get right the, right the right people on board. On board. Meaning? Como conseguir a las personas adecuadas. For what? Para como en, en su en nosotros. Uh -huh. O sea, a bordo es como una expresión, ¿no? Como que el equipo, en el equipo. That's mm -hmm. right. Guys, are you on board to learn English? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you committed yes, with the group? 
Okay. So to be on board, guys, is to be with the team. Right? Que si van a hacer lo que tienen que hacer. ¿Te apuntas o no te apuntas? ¿Se las va o se las piensa? That's pretty much being on board. All right? Let's continue. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Everything is okay. Let's continue, please. Be oh, by the way, um, you're gonna work in groups of four, okay? And in these groups, you're gonna have to read a complete paragraph. Van a tener que leer un párrafo completo, solitos. Así que pónganle el carecho un a la pronunciación, a las pausas, igual se los voy a mandar escrito, pero vayan desde ya anotando los sonidos que les cuestan. Ok, anótenlos okay. para que esos sean los que vayamos a practicar. Después que todos lo hagamos, van los breakout rooms para que se ayuden entre todos, decidir quién dice cuál, lo practican y luego al regresar, probablemente todos vayamos a leer. Ok, so let's get this ready. Here, before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, before you begin, you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, Vayan poniéndole eh, atención también a dónde pauso yo, porque así es como ustedes lo tienen que decir. ¿Ok? One more time. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan. Maintenance plan. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. You need to have, have, the, have the right, right people, people on board, board with the plan. plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. Uh, Include top management, management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. Control, control or control? Control. control? control. And we can control. say we can say data instead of that data. I data. would recommend you to you. Yeah, you can say data, but it's also data processing. Data processing. Okay. okay. Data, data, data processing. Data processing. Data, data processing. processing. All right. So, control. Um, meaning for you to understand before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan. Antes de empezar a organizar tu plan de mantenimiento preventivo. preventivo. Mm -hmm. Antes de empezar a organizar. Uh -huh. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. Exactamente. Necesitas tener a la gente adecuada eh, que vaya de acuerdo con el plan, o sea que estén comprometidos. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. Incluyendo. El incluye, top. incluye 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 uh -huh. gerente top management es como la alta gerencia ah, la alta gerencia, gerencia. Uh -huh. gerente de mantenimiento técnico gerente de mantenimiento técnico de mantenimiento otro personal que cualquier otro de estado y cualquier otro personal que entienda entienda La manera, la manera, la manera que es, de que operar el sistema. sistema. Ajá, que tu sistema opera, que tu sistema funciona. Mm -hmm. Okay, vayan ahí anotando nuevo vocabulario. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and member of, members of production and production control. 
Esto, Esto podría, podría incluir personas, 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 personas de procesamiento de datos, procesamiento de datos, contadores, 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 artesanos, ya, aquí ya hay que, hay que enviar artesanos, ya. Good. Que serían como los operarios, los artesanos. Miembro de producción. Depende. Control de producción. It depends. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Craftman es la gente que hace las cosas. Mm -hmm. right. Puede ser artesano. Sí, podría ser, ser los operarios. Que, ajá, operarios. Que el, pero generalmente producen algo. Mm -hmm. okay. right. Porque si no, simplemente decimos operators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And members of production and production control. Uh -huh. Y miembros de producción o... Y miembros de producción o de control de producción. Muy bien, very good. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. You may not need, you may input, not need it from each of these people at every step of the process. But it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. But it is important to have them on board and get up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. That's right. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. Puedes no necesitar entradas de cada persona en cada paso del proceso. En cada paso del proceso. An input, guys, is... Not, also, not only entradas, but also, you know, an opinion. Ah, something that is... Ese uh, contexto. Ajá, aporte. Exactly. Mm. Aporte, correct. Aporte. Very good, very good. Okay. So, podri, puede ser que no necesites aportes de cada uno de ellos, o sea, de mm -hmm. estas personas, en cada paso del proceso. Mm -hmm. Ajá. But it's important to have them on board. Pero es importante, Pero es importante tenerlos en el equipo. Tenerlos en el equipo. Ajá, tenerlos en el equipo. Uh -huh. And kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Y ¿Qué es el, el pasado de... De uh, keep. De keep. Uh -huh. Ajá. Me poner actualizado. Mantener actualizado. Y mantenerlos Mantenerte, actualizados. Uh -huh, actualizados. Uh -huh. Eh, puede entonces puede, para puede ser importante los, el, la, la los, retroalimentación que ellos uh -huh, te dan uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. es importante que los tengas en el equipo y actualizados para que puedas obtener eh, retroalimentación importante as you go como la necesitas o sea, de ellos mismos o de, de ellos? en el camino, en el camino. Oh, as you go, as you go en el mientras camino. van haciendo las cosas as you go. All right. Step two. Step two. Step, step two. <laughs> okay, good. I know you were taking notes. It's okay. Set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force as input. Using your task forces input. Set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Using the system. Using the system. Begin training your That's task fork on the, I said fork. Fork is um tenedor. You see how tenedor. important it is pronunciation? It's force, not fork. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need. Begin training, training your task force on the computer skills, skills they'll need. Skills they'll need. They'll need. When your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. When you, when you prevent you maintenance plan got into full, into full effect. Into full effect. Into full effect. Into full effect. Using your task force's input. Using your task force's input. 
this this was in Spanish, but yeah, let's do it in English because this paragraph is a oh. little more complicated than the <laughs> first one. So let's do it one more time. Using your task forces input. Using your text forces input. Uh, yeah, in English, it's it's fine. Uh, Set yeah. goals you hope to achieve using the system. Set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into effect. Begin training, training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into effect. Yeah, that's right. Now in Spanish, guys, using your task force's input. Usando las opiniones de tu equipo usando de trabajo. La pasando, no usando sé, las opiniones, for. los aportes de tu equipo de trabajo, ajá, o tu fuerza de trabajo. Fuerza de trabajo, tax force. Uh -huh. Set goals uh -huh. you hope to achieve using the system. Uh -huh. Las metas. Define, eh, las metas. Define las metas. Define las metas. Define las metas. Crea las metas. Usando el sistema. Tu obtener. ¿Qué quieres obtener? ¿Qué esperas obtener usando el sistema? That's right. So, fijar las metas. ¿Qué esperas Eres, obtener? Esperas alcanzar o obtener. Uh -huh, alcanzar o obtener usando el sistema. Usando el sistema. Uh -huh. Begin uh -huh. training your task force on the computer skills they need. La capacitación de tu equipo de trabajo sobre las habilidades de computación. Uh -huh. Ellos necesitarán... Ok, good, 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 good. Empieza entrenando tu fuerza de trabajo en las habilidades de computación que van a necesitar. Ah. Ok. Pero en habilidades informáticas también. Ah, habilidades informáticas también. When your preventive maintenance plan goes into a full effect. Cuando tu plan de mantenimiento, mantenimiento preventivo, preventivo. Eh, entra en efecto. Completamente. Com ah, uh -huh. completamente. Cuando tu eh, plan de mantenimiento Uy, preventivo entre en total funcionamiento. En total funcionamiento. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, start taking notes, guys. Sometimes don't get confused because people say, don't translate. Don't translate. How are you going to know the meaning if you don't translate? Now, you don't have to, tr uh, to translate literally. No tienen que traducir las cosas literalmente. Acuérdense que siempre hay contexto. This is going to give you a bigger idea on how writing takes place. Okay, so don't get confused. Translating is not good if you do it like word by word. But if you take something like this and you need to have the whole concept is good because you see how it's created. So let's do number three. Step three. Inventory the equipment and assets. Inventory the equipment and assets. Inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility. Go through your facility. Go through your facility. Wow. And inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. And inventory, and inventory you are considering, the you are considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Your preventive maintenance plan. Preventive Tagging the equipment as you go. Tagging the equipment as you go. You go. Create a list of all assets you have responsibility for. Create a list of all assets you have responsibility, responsibility for. for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize <laughs> with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Go. Keep in mind that the process is much easier to carry out to organize a system of a good preventive maintenance software program. Yeah, preventing maintenance software program. Yeah, it's kind of long, right? Let's do it one more time. It starts here and finishes here. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. 
Don't worry about it. You're going to have time. Uh, I know what I'm telling you. So let's get this in the meeting. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment. <laughs> Ajá. Eh, eh, ¿cómo se Mediante avanzar o mediante tus posibilidades de tu inventario y todo el equipo que tú consideras. Uh, to the, up to the red point. The red point. Ah. O como ver mediante las facilidades de tu inventario y todo de tu equipo. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, if you don't know what it is, you have your computer, right? What or your device. Okay. Go. Ah, esto facilitaría que en este contexto instalaciones. Yep. Tienes que avanzar dentro de tus instalaciones, el inventario y todo el equipo. So what's the meaning of go through? Es como mediante, ir mediante. Now, in this case, go through, guys, because of the context. Is go through your facility. What is the meaning of facility? Instalaciones. En este caso son las instalaciones, sí. Beato, instalaciones. No, las no las eléctricas, sino que eh, el, los edificios, ¿no? El edificio, uh -huh. ajá. Exacto. La planta. Correct, la planta. Um, so, go through your facility es como que ustedes eh, recuerdan los, los edificios o las instalaciones. La planta. Ajá. Y que hagan el inventario, en inventory, es inventariar todo el equipo. Estás considerando incluir en, en tu mantenimiento preventivo, en tu plan de Ajá, mantenimiento preventivo. Que estás considerando incluir en tu plan de mantenimiento preventivo. Entonces, go through, cuando ustedes dicen go through, es que van a repasar algo también, que lo van a revisar. Alguien le puede decir a ustedes, hey, don't go through my stuff. No estés revisando mis cosas. Por ejemplo, so go through in this case puede ser como atravesar, revisar. Ustedes pueden decir, hey, I went through hell to come here. I went through hell, es como que atravesé el infierno, como de la, you know, que la pasó difícil para llegar hasta donde han estado. So go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Let's continue. Tagging the equipment as you go. Uh, tagging the equipment as you go. Como etiqueta el equipo. Exactly, exactly. Etiquetando el equipo, ¿qué significa as you go? En camino, ¿qué vas a Ajá, como en el camino que tú vas a recorrer. So, um, ¿cómo le podríamos definir entonces todo esto? How can we define this? Sobre, sobre la marcha. Sobre la marcha, muy bien. That's a good one. So, es como revisa las, las instalaciones e inventaré a todo el equipo que estás eh, considerando sí. incluir en tu plan, en tu de, plan mantenimiento de mantenimiento. Preventivo, preventivo. ¿Ya? Etiquetando, Etiquetando el, equipo el equipo sobre la marcha. Right? Let's continue. Always the translation. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Crear una lista de todos los activos de los que eres responsable. O que tienes bajo tu responsabilidad. Exactamente. Crea una lista de todos los activos de los que eres responsable. Now, assets, guys, eh, you can say, hey, I'm a good asset for your company. Esa es una buena manera de venderse. I think I'm going to be a good asset to your company. So you're going to be an active part that is going to bring them a lot of good things. Okay? I'm a good asset. Soy un buen elemento. Asset. Okay? Asset. 
Continue. Record the, the following details as you go. Registra o anota todos los detalles sobre la marcha. Acuérdense que record es grabar, vea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can also say, como eh, registrar. For... Like, for example, let me check my records. Déjeme revisar mis eh, registros. Notaciones, registros. Exactly. Be careful, though, que records también son, este, son muchas cosas, ¿no? Como el record que tiene alguien por el salto más largo. Uh, son discos también, de los grandotes. Mm -hmm. All right. So record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out. Y ten en mente que este proceso es más fácil de llevar. De llevar. Ajá, de llevar a cabo, ¿verdad? Llevar a carry cabo. out is to do something, to start. Uh, carry out. Very good. Carry out is a phrasal verb. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Qué es un phrasal verb? Mm -hmm. What's a phrasal yes. verb? Pues es eh, eh, experiencia de vida, no, no es nada. Uh -huh. no. That's person perfect. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's the meaning of phrasal verb? Check your notes, it's fine. On their way to say something? Um, yeah. Remember that a phrasal verb is going to be a verb plus something else, in this case a preposition, that changes the meaning of a word. So yes, another way of saying something, getting a verb and something else. In this case, a preposition. Un verbo más una preposición cambian el significado. So how do you say ten en cuenta? Keep in mind. Keep in, Keep in mind, mind. Mm -hmm. que este proceso es más fácil de llevar a cabo y organizado, y organizado, y organizado con organizado. asistencia de un buen plan de mantenimiento de eso, con, no, de, de un programa de un programa de mantenimiento un programa, preventivo, programa. un sistema. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things, guys. Good preventive maintenance of a program. Todo esto es un noun. Compound noun. Un noun compuesto porque tiene un montón de partes, pero no deja de ser un noun. Por más palabras que lleve. Así que no se asusten. Es solo un noun que tiene un montón de descripciones. Okay? Un buen programa so, de mantenimiento preventivo. Un buen programa de mantenimiento preventivo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ok. What do you think of this vocabulary? Is this... Difficult? Do you think you might be able to get it? Difficult. Or because it's difficult because it's a new vocabulary. It is. It is new vocabulary. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm going to send you one, two, three, four audios. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you step number one. Listen to my pronunciation again. And then you can work with it. Just a moment. Okay. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. How long does this audio last? Mm, 23, 23 seconds. 23 seconds, okay? So try to keep it like that. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it is important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. That's number two. Let's go to... Uh, 1.1, which is uh, this one. Let's go with a step two. Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force's input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. 17 seconds and three, 
go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software problem. So we have another 23 seconds. In total, one of you is going to talk for about 23 seconds, another one 11, another one 17, and another one 23. So guys, um, I need you well prepared for this. Okay. I need you to work on the on the words that are difficult for you. And I need you to be able to read the whole paragraph in front of your group. Van a leer cada párrafo en frente de su grupo. Van a decir qué les cuesta y entre todos le van a ayudar a esa persona. ¿Ok? La van a leer por lo menos unas tres, cuatro veces cada uno y ayúdenle. Hiciste bien en esto, seguirlo así, trabaja en esto. Ok, so okay. luego vamos con el otro párrafo que lea la persona y se ayudan. No pierdan tanto tiempo diciendo yo quiero el uno porque es más chiche, yo quiero el dos. Si es posible, rífenlo. Pero que eso sea, no se tarden más de uno o dos minutos con eso. Todos los siguientes 20 minutos van a ser de ustedes practicando. Ok, aquí no me puedo pasar más porque hay más cosas que hacer. All right. Así que asignese cada uno de los números 1, 1.1, 2 o 3. Ayúdense a leer, que luego yo les voy a poner a leer en frente de todos. No se preocupen tanto si cometen 2, 3, 4 errores. Solo quiero que traten de hacerlo lo más cerca de como yo lo hice. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Any questions? Okay. No, sure. no, no. Okay. ok. Do your best, guys. I know that it might seem uh, difficult, and it is. But that's why I'm asking you to do it, because you need this. So accept the invite, and I'll be sending this to you. We got group. OK, four groups, five groups. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -uh. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. OK, I got. Uh -huh. I got three groups of three people, okay? So you're gonna have to do the whole step one, step two, and step three. Go for it, guys. Have fun, you got 20 minutes. ¿Qué página está? Esa página no me expresa. Es como en la página 28, no más adelante, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. A 37. 37. 37. Ahorita lo vamos a compartir. No sé por qué es más pequeño. Ahí está. Creo que es eso. 
Sí. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, ok, somos cuatro, entonces. Nos va a repartir, Ana. Oh. Sí, te iba a decir que. Tomar un párrafo cada uno, si gustan. Sí, un párrafo cada uno. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, no sé qué piensas. Yo, eh, en este caso, la compañía. <risa> ella, ella nos va a servir de guía, entonces no sé si, si tú te quedas con el más pequeño, así nos ayudas a corregir a nosotros, Isela. Porque tú tienes mejor pronunciación. Ok, so, empiezo yo. Eh, quizás te quedas tú con la parte 2 del 1, donde um, dice... No, sure about that, but uh -huh. we can try. ¿Verdad? ¿Quién empieza entonces? ¿Con cuál? Eh, José Antonio, luego Gisela, luego Carla y me quedo yo con el último. So, ok. Ah, igual lo podemos ir repitiendo, irnos Exacto. variando. Exacto, vamos variando. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yeah, then we can switch. I will start. Ok, Steve, Steve one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organ, organize your preventing maintenance plan. You need to have the right people in board. Organize. Which, organize. Repeat organize. the phrase complete. The, complete phrase. The right people. The, before you begin to organize your prevent, preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people in board with the plan, include to main, main, maintenance, maintenance manager, maintenance technicians, in any other stance to understand the way your system operates. This could include people from the processing, accounting, craftsmen, in member of production and production control. Una consulta, Isela, is on board or in board? Oh, on board. Okay. On board. Para que lo oh, sorry, teacher. No I'm here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I was handling a situation at the beginning, but now I'm with you. Okay. Next. Okay. On... Okay. It's my turn, right? Yes. But what okay. about you? May now need... before before you continue, Isela. Is there something you guys can help Jose? Because remember, you gotta say it like three, four, five times. So oh, pay, okay. pay attention to what Jose is doing. If Jose is gonna say number one, help him. Then you go with Isela with okay. number two, read it two, three times, and everybody try to help, okay? So let's go back to square one, to go back to square one. De vuelta al punto de partida. Do it again, Jose. Okay. And pay attention, okay. girls. You help him out. Okay. Stop. okay. One, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan, include to maintenance, 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 manager. Management. 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 Okay. Management. Management. So management. Maintenance, manager, maintenance technicians in any other staff who understand the way your system operates. Uh -huh. Who understands? Who understands? Who understand? Who understand? With S at the end, who understands? Who understand? S understand. S understands. Mm -hmm. Bien, démosle equipo. The way yeah. your system <laughs> operates. This school include people from the processing, account, accounting, placement, and members of production and production control. That is, is data, data processing or data processing? Data, data. Data or data. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the other one, my friends. Okay. 
control. Control. Remember, you have um, the audios, okay? You can control. you can base yourself on the audios. Go with number two, then okay. help each other, number three, and so on and so on. All right, let me check another group. Any okay. questions? Mm, no question. Go for no, it. Thanks. First, you okay. need to organize uh, your preventive man management plan. Main yeah. name. Main name. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance plan. Maintenance plan. Maintenance plan. Maintenance plan. Uh -huh. plan. Okay. Todas las, las palabras que les cueste pronunciar, tomen nota. Mm -hmm. okay. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. You mm -hmm. need to have the right people on board with the plan. Mm -hmm. okay. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands. Uh, include the top management. Okay. Uh, include top management, maintenance, man maintenance, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Good. Managers, maintenance. Okay. And any other staff who understand the way your system operates. Mm -hmm. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. Mm -hmm. could include people from the process processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. 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 Okay. But okay, go. Ahorita, permítame. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. You may not need in input for from each to these people at every step of the process. Good, uh -huh. nice. That's exactly what it is important about. to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. But it is important to have them on board to get a Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. But it is important to have them on board and kept up to date. So you can get him. Mm -hmm. Get up, get up. Good job, good job. You're doing great, guys. Any questions? No. 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 <laughs> All right. Keep it up. We try. Uh, so call for you, prevent miners play. You use your taste for input to call you how the archives use the system. Pay training your task for of the computer still pay. Neither you prevent your miners play going into full effect. Into full effect. Okay. Es Good, Peter. Que, mm -hmm. que este, no pone pausas. Por eso confunde un poco. Aquí cuando, cuando hay una coma, por ejemplo. O cuando hay este punto y seguido. Bueno, entonces ese punto de parte. Mm -hmm. eh, ahí es donde me confundo porque sin leer he tratado de escucharla y, y sí les he dicho unas cosas, pero, pero como no pone pausa siento yo que me pierdo. Ese es, guys, el rhythm and intonation. Right? Todo eso... El, el, el pace también. Todo eso es aprendido después de mucha, mucha práctica. Ok. Um, Miriam, el tip que le tengo es, ¿tiene los audios que mandé? Do you have the audios I sent? Yes. Ok. Entonces, dele play. Um, hasta, uh -huh. por ejemplo, la coma. Sí, como a usted, okay. todo, como a usted le cuesta eso, ponga, por ejemplo, de, la coma después de input que en la coma, después de system, aquí hay otra coma, este para, para decirle no es el mejor para que usted practique porque hay que acostumbrarse a esto, pero lo puede tratar, ¿verdad? entonces vamos con la, esta coma, el, el punto de system y de ahí todo puede llegar hasta skills they need, por ejemplo, ahí toma, toma un respiro y le da con lo demás, 
Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, no importa que no salga al 100%, la cosa es ir mejorando poco a poco. Démosle, miren. Escúchelo, póngale pausa y luego continúa. Lo mismo para Fátima. Fátima no le he escuchado, pero usted me ha dicho que le cuesta la pronunciación. También puede trabajarlo de la misma manera, Fátima. Ok. Go, Fátima. Okay. Step three, inventory the equipment in us. Go to your facility in inventory and the equipment you're considering included. If you prevent men's plane, take the equipment you're ago. Create tagging, a list. Tagging the equipment as you go. Tagging the equipment as you go. Mm -hmm. Crear a list of the assets you have. Responsibility for. Good. Let me help you here, Fatima. Create a list. Create a list. Of all the assets. Of all the assets. You have responsibility for. You have the responsibility for. Muy bien. Ya ven la gran diferencia. A Fernando, miren, and William, you see the difference? Very sí. good. Keep it up, guys. Little by little. Sí. Sí, que aquí, fue, aquí fue al azar, teacher, lo, digamos, no fue democracia, fue un programita <laughs> y tiró los números y ya. Don't worry, don't worry, that's fine, that's fine. Keep up doing that good job. Continue, guys. Okay, dale, number two. Okay, step two, set goal for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your tax force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skill, skill. They need when your preventive maintenance, maintenance, ever, maintenance yep, plan, maintenance, yep. maintenance plan goes in the full effect, goes into full effect. Full effect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're working with Sabrina, right? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's having internet issues. Yes. Yeah. All right, keep it up, keep it up. Okay, step three. Inventory the equipment. Ah, I didn't know that three is mm -hmm. Inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and facility ever. Facility. Okay. Go through okay. your facility and facility. Facility. <laughs> Go through your facility and inventory or inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following detail as you go. And keep in, keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out. And organize with assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Subject, software program. Software program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Sorry. Okay. Keep it up. Let me check another group. You're doing good. Training your tax force on the computer skill they need when your preventive management plan goes into full effect. Okay. Three, inventory the equipment and go to your facility and see all the equipment you are considering including on your, your preventive management plan. Tagging the equipment as you go all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance to prevent the maintenance of the Jocelyn, I can hear you, but I hear you very far out. I'm sorry. Now is better? Uh, a little bit. Try to get the mic. Closer to your, to your mouth. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't Step be three. sorry, it's fine. Inventory the equipment and us. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you are considered, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go, create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is more easy, much easier, sorry, 
to carry out and organize it with the assistance of the good preventing maintenance software program. Software program. Okay, good job, good job. Uh, here it is inventory. Go inventory. through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. So after that, you have to continue without pauses. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you pronounce the word tagging? Tagging? Uh, which one? Uh, tagging. Ta tagging. Tagging. Mm -hmm. Tagging. Tagging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inventory. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. Stress in the eye. Write it down. Take Inventory. notes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Remember, you can also listen to my audio and identify where the pause is, okay? Identifiquen dónde están las pausas. Dejen lo que corra. Pausen ustedes el audio en la pausa y repiten inmediatamente. Traten de decirlo igual a como son. Okay? okay. Let me check one more group and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Catherine, ¿o le doy yo? Wait, yo entonces veamos. Va. Step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventing maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. This call includes people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Good job. Yes. Two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task forces input, so guards you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills that we need skills they'll need when your preventing maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step three, inventory the equipment and a set. Inventory. Inventory. Inventory with the stress in the eye. Inventory. Inventory the equipment. And a set. Go through your forest facility and inventory all equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Taking the equipment as you go. Create a list of all assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize it with the assistance of a good preventive mining software program. Yeah, and organized. Organized. Mm -hmm. With the assistance. Look at right. Okay. Then, for you. Step one, get the right people on board. Before the bank, you organize the preventive mining plan. You need to have the right people on board with the plan, including your maintenance, maintenance, manager, maintenance, maintenance, uh -huh. and any other staff who understand the way the system operates. This call includes people from data processing, accounting, processing, and members of production and project control. You may need info from each of these people uh, every step to the process, of the process. But it's important to have them aboard and keep you to say if you can get or import feedback as you go. The step two, because you because for your preparing many plan. You see to start for input because you have to achieve using the system. Mm -hmm. The training, your task for on the computer is still with your preparing mining plan go into full effect. A speed quick inventory, the kidney and assets. Control to facility and inventory at the kidney you are considering including into preparing mining plan. 
stacking the equipment as we go, creating a list of all the assets you have responsibly for. Record the following slides as you go. And Details as you go. Details as you go. Uh -huh, yeah. Record the following details as you go. And King and made the and keep in name the process in which agents regard all and organize what the assistance of a go a good program mining software program. Okay. Okay, very good. Jose. Vamos, Jose. Repetimos. Hey, hey. Practice makes hey, perfect. You got like, you got a minute. Okay. Step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan uh, include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who is standard who understand who the understands. way who understand the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, crafting, and member of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and get up today so you can get important. Hello there. Let's take attendance because I know you are ready to start reading. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ana María Chicón de García. Present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Enzo. Ay. Edson Andoni Guzmán Andaverde. No, present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. No, present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. No, present. present. Oh, ahí está. Buena, Leo, José. Thank you very much, sir. Give me a second. Let me change this. There's your attendance. Thanks. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Enet Amaya Zara. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. No, present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabela Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Ari, ¿y esa ropa? Oops. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Sandra. Present. Ahí está, eso. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. You have a lot of L's in your name. Isela Liliana. Kind of difficult. Yeah. Luis no, Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Present. Thank you very much. Hey guys, good job. Thank you for your attendance today. One more time. Just one person from the from the full attendance. Siempre nos quedamos a uno, pero Héctor va a estar el día de mañana con nosotros, ¿ok? Así que espero que todos puedan meterle al día de mañana y tratemos de pegarle la mayor cantidad de 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 full attendance que podamos, ¿ok? Let's do this, okay. guys. Group number one, go for it. By the way, Jose? group number one is Ana Isela and Jose. Okay. On me, Vanya. Okay. okay, Jose. Jose, Jose is, going, is going to be the first. Okay, step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your prevent maintenance plane, you need to have the right people on board with the plane. 
include to man, main, mains, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staffs, staff who understand the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, investment, and member of production and production control. Good job, sir. Good job. Nice. I like it. Um, you're doing good, you know, in the rhythm and intonation. Good job. Um, say it with me, please. Management. Management. Members. Members. Good job. Keep it up, my man. Continue, team. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important important to have the to have them on board and keep it and keep up to, to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Fantastic. I like it. Nice pronunciation. Your fluency, remember it's not Eminem style. Your fluency yeah. can improve, but I know that this paragraph is not easy. Good job. Good job. La fluidez puede okay, eh, I just I do have a question. Mm -hmm. I can say important or important. Either both or. Both are correct or should be important. No, nah, they are okay. both correct. Important. Important okay, though is thanks. more natural. If you say important, okay. it's more like British or more Latino, right? But important. Is okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Better. Like it. Okay, thank you. Continue. Step two, set goals for you prevent maintenance planning. Using your tax force in, in set goals, you hope to I achieve. Uh -huh, it's fine, achieve. <laughs> Using the system, when you training your tax force on the computer skill they will need, when you're preventing mining, planes goes into full effect. Nice, good job, good job, Carlevania. You have grown a lot as yeah. far as pronunciation. Yeah. Kudos, 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 kudos. Just, you know, this one, achieve, but nothing, nothing terrible. Good job. Um, and the last one. Permítame, teacher. Sorry. Right. Step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory of the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Taking the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a gold preventive maintenance software program. Good job, Ana Maria. Nice fluency, nice rhythm. Couple of things like everybody. Everybody, please. Inventory. Inventory. Uh -huh. Inventory. The stress is in the eye. Good job, Tim. I liked it. Liked it a lot. Let's go to group number two, please. Let's do it quick. Deborah, Carla, so Carla, Janet, Roberto, and Sandra. Go. And, and, and step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive uh, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include the management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. Good job. I like the way that you talk uh, with the commas. You know, a couple of things like, for example, um, operates. But other than that, Deborah, good job. Liked it. Good job. Good job. Continue, team. Okay. You may not need input from from each of these people at every step of the process, but it is important to have them on board and keep up to date 
so you can get it important feedback as you go. Okay. Uh, Roberto, good job with the linking sounds. Input from each of these people at every step of the process. Good job linking it. Congratulations. Keep it up. Thank you. Step two, set goal for your preventive maintenance plan. Use and you take for set input set goals to hope to achieve it using the system. Begin training your task force on the computed skill they will need will need when to prevent it maintenance plan goes into full effect. Nice. Good job. Good pronunciation, Sandra. Um, words like, for example, achieve, but then I like it. Your fluency will improve with the, with the, with the practice. All right. Good job, Sandra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go to your facility and inventory all the equipment you are considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize, organize it with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Nice, good job. Nice fluency. And like everybody, guys, don't worry if you don't if you don't say something correctly. Like for example, organized. Say it with me, Carla. Organized. Organized. Good job. So don't worry if you make two, three, four, five mistakes. You didn't you didn't make as many. So good job. I liked it. Next group. It's gonna be Fatima, Fernando, Miriam, and William. We're almost done, guys. Okay. The rest uh, of you pay attention to their pronunciation and my uh, feedback. Go. Okay. Step one, uh, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production, production and production control. All right, fantastic. Good job, Fernando, I liked it all. You know, um, pronunciation, linking, um, the pace was very good. Just a couple of things, like everything in life we can improve, Produ is with the schwa. Production. Production. Uh -huh. production. Good job. Liked it a lot. Continue. Okay, and you may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep up today so you can get important feedback as you will. Nice fluency, nice linking. Good job, William. Excellent. Continue. Uh, set two, set goal for you preventer main play. Using set goals, you have to actually no. Use using your task for input. Set goals, you have to actually use the system. Make training your days for or the computer is still day new. With your preventer main play course in full effect. Nice, nice, Miriam. Hey, this is a tremendous improvement from the time I heard you. Gran mejora el de la vez que la escuché en el grupo. Gran mejora con las pausas hasta donde, donde yo le dije. Miriam, super happy with your progress. Keep it up. Así es la manera. Good job. Continue. Step three. Inventory the equipment and us. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering included in your prevent main plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list that says you have responsibility for. Record the following details you go and keeping made that this process. 
is my easier to care of and organize way the system for good. Prevent, prevent main software pro, programs. There you go, Fatima. As well, a nice improvement from the time I heard you. Keep it up. Um, pronunciation, we can always improve it, but you have improved your pace and your process a lot. Good job, Fatima. I really liked it. Keep it up. Now, let's continue with the next group, which is group number four. Carlos Miguel and Sabrina, go for it. Okay. Is that one. Get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include to management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. These could include people from data processing, according craftsmen, and member of production and production control. Good job, and production control. Okay. Nice pace, nice intonation. Um, work on the ending sounds, Miguel. Mm -hmm. Technicians. Technicians. Uh -huh. Understands. Uh, understands. Members. Members. Other yes. than that, you've done great. Man, I like yes. it. Good job. Let's continue. Okay, me. Uh, you may not need input from each <laughs> of these people at every step of the process, but it is important to have them on board and keep up today so you can get import feedback as you go. Good job. Liked it. Go for it. Step two. Step two. Carlos. Sorry. Step two. Set goal for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your tax forces input, set goal you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skill they need where you prevent the maintenance plan goes into full effect. Full effect. Okay. Nice, Carlos. Um, nice fluency as well. You know, good linking. Um, we're going to be working with the stresses, right? Instead of effect, it's going to be effect. For example, but don't worry, that comes with the practice. I like the way you read. Good job. Step three, go for it. Okay. Um, step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory of the equipment you considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment how you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following detail how you go. And keep in mind that this process is more easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good parenting maintenance software program. Sabrina, I really, really, really like your rising and falling intonation after every idea. That's great. Uh, fluency is great too. Keep it up. We cannot work, for example, everybody, including myself, inventory, the stress in the eye, inventory. Inventory. Mm -hmm. Good job, I liked it. Well done. Next group, which is number five, Ana, Reina, and Jocelyn. Okay, step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include to manage, maintenance, manager, maintenance, technician, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. This could include the people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. And you may not to need input from of these people every step of the process, but, the, but it's important to have them on board and keep up today so you can give important, important feedback as you go. Okay, great job, Ada, as well. You know what I like in this time is the way you started super strong, super natural. No super natural, sino que super, pausa, natural, muy natural. I liked about that, you know, 
um, stress. Stress conflict with pronunciation. A veces estresamos la primera en vez de la de medio o la segunda. Don't worry, that comes to that comes with practice. Good job, Ada. I liked it. Okay. Step two. Okay. Step two. The goal for your permitting maintenance plan. Using your sad corpus using the system. Please manage your tax for on the computer skill. They will need when your preventing maintenance plan goes into full effect. All right. Um nice um nice fluency, Jocelyn. I really liked it. I heard a little bit of the backstreet voice while, while you were reading, but you know that's not up to you. No tiene nada que ver con usted. So um good fluency. Um and the pauses were well made. Good job, keep it up. And step number three, please. Si quieres, yo digo el primer punto. No sé cuál quieres tú. Uh, that's for, don't worry, Catherine, it's fine. All right, step three. <laughs> step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Control your facility and inventory all the equipment during consulting, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Taking the equipment as you go, create a list of the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go and quick and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize it with the assistance of a good preventive maintaining software program. Rina, good job, good job, good job. You know what I like the most? I like the most that you're doing a great job with the, the pace. The pace is very good. And also the pace is the rhythm, guys. Que no vayan ni muy rápido ni muy lento. Okay, that's the pace. Ni Eminem, ni lento. Okay, slow motion. And I really like the way that you finish the ideas. Estás haciendo muy bien las ideas. Decís la idea, pequeña pausa, nueva idea. Gran crecimiento, Rina, de cómo empezó. Muy, muy bien. Keep it up. Algo pantipiado, teacher. Está bueno, está bueno. Ahí champipiado, pero hay muchas cosas buenas. That's good. All right. And I think we go with the last group, Jose Saúl, Catherine, and René Alfonso. Go. Step one, get the right people on board. Before to begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. This call includes people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Good job. Step two. Um, yeah, just a second. Uh, <laughs> Jose Saul, Catherine, it's nice good. linking. All right, you linked correctly. Nice pace, nice intonation. Hey, good job, girl. Keep it up. Keep it like that. Good job. Jose Saul, rocket. Step two. Set the goal for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task for input set goals, you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skill they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Nice, nice, Jose Saul. Um, nice rhythm, nice reading. Um, and I like it very much that you have softened a lot your pronunciation. Ha suavizado muchísimo su pronunciación. En vez de decir, por ejemplo, hope, muy bien, hope. Excellent, Jose Saul. Keep it up. Liked it. And then we go to an Alfonso, right? Last but not least. Secret mm -hmm. inventory, the equipment, and assets. Go through to facility and inventory of the equipment you're considering, including in your parenting maintenance plan. Starting the equipment as we go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. 
record the following the time as you go and keep in mind that this process image is to carry out and organize. What's the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program? Nice, 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 nice rhythm, Don Alfonso. Very nice rhythm. Um, also very nice improvement in pronunciation and fluency, my friend. Good job. Uh, sígale practicando porque su fluidez estuvo muy buena, la pronunciación estuvo muy bonita, e igual, keep it up, sir. Muy, muy, muy buen uh, crecimiento a lo largo del, del módulo. Good job. So, guys, uh, listen up. Some of you might say, hey, why are we doing this on board? Uh, ten minutes for everybody to read. Now, todo esto, chicos, es la recompensa de poco a poco el esfuerzo que ustedes han hecho practicando durante las clases. Ok, siento que me enfoco mucho en pronunciación porque desafortunadamente en este país, si quieren obtener un trabajo en inglés, necesitan muy buena pronunciación. Así es simple. Somos una compañía, una compañía, un país que vende servicios al exterior con este montón de empresas, outsourcing, y ellos quieren pretender que nosotros estamos allá. Que estamos en un país uh, de habla, de, de, de que habla en inglés, right? Así que la pronunciación, señores, no tiene que ser algo con lo que se van a ofuscar o a obsesionar, pero sí es algo que tienen que ir practicando. Esto es nuevo vocabulario para muchos y aún así con 20 minutos que le han dado, señores, han dado un salto tremendo. Son nada más alrededor de 44 sonidos en inglés. Si ustedes empiezan a hacer esto, empiezan a masterizarlo, poco a poco los sonidos se empiezan a repetir. Se repiten tanto que ustedes ya lo dominan. Así que, señores, estoy muy contento. Se lo digo en español para que todo quede claro. Estoy muy, muy, muy contento con su progreso. Pero, porfa, que no sea llamarada de Tusa. Audiolibros, audiobooks, muy buenos. Escuchen, pónganle pausa y repitan. Y les prometo que su inglés va a dar un salto tremendo. ¿Ok? So, good job. Very, very, very happy for you. Are you ready to what's next? Yeah, right? So, let's do it. Say with me, please. Idioms part two. Idioms part two. Idioms part two. Part two. Idioms part two. Part two. Read the definitions of these useful idioms. Read the definition of these useful idioms. Read the definition of these idioms. What's an idiom, guys? Do you remember? Idioms um, and... Is... Modismo. Como los modismos o los... Modismo. Yep, eh. that's right. So say with me, please. Wipe out. 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 Parece chino, coreano. Wipe out. Wipe out. So wipe out. Wipe out. the point is this, guys. Um, ¿Quién ha comprado baby wipes? What? The baby wipes. Toallitas. Toallitas, ¿no? So, wipe. Wipe. Ah, wipe. O oh, lo wipe es eso. Uh -huh. right? So, where wipe, does this come? Favor. Wipe is this action for you to clean uh -huh. something. Ya salió bien fino ¿verdad? con baby wipes. Pero anyways, <laughs> wipe is that, guys. So, limpiar algo like o es el pedazo de tela o trapo que ocupan para limpiarlo. Es el, el, uh -huh. el noun o es el verbo. Now, white out is when you are very tired. And normally, this, mm. this is going to be used with the verb to be. How do you say, estoy muy cansado? I'm tired. I am tired. I am, tired. I am very tired. tired. I am tired. And, I am and, very tired. And using this mm. idiom, I am wiped out. Uh, wiped out. I am wiped out. out. I am wiped out. Don't talk to me today because I worked a lot and I am wiped out. Okay? Any questions with this one? No. Teacher, right? Very easy. Um, next one. To have a lot of to have a lot on one's plate. No, 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 I have a lot on one's plate. To have a lot on one's plate. To have a lot to do. To have a lot to do. To have a lot to do. So this, how do you say tengo mucho en mi plato o tengo muchas cosas encima? 
I have so much things. A lot of things. A lot. A lot of on my plate. My plate. So, tengo mucho que hacer. Tengo demasiado. I have a lot on my plate. Repeat, please. I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot on my plate. Um, él tiene mucho. Él está muy cargado. He has a lot of his plate. Ajá. He has a lot of his plate. His plate. He has a lot of his plate. Tú tienes mucho en tu plato. Tú estás muy cargado. You have a lot on your plate. Great. You have a lot on your plate. That's right. Repeat after me, please. Next one. To settle down. To settle, to settle down. down. To settle down. And the meaning is to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Like relax the cake a little bit. You need to settle down. Uh -huh. You need to. Tienes que calmarte. You need to settle you need down. down. You need to, to settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. To settle down. Correct. And if we are using an imperative, and if we want to say it to someone, calmate vos. Settle, to settle, settle down. down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. You can use it as an imperative. Good job. Now, settle down is also sentar cabeza. Se anda muy loco saliendo y todo ahí de lugar en lugar. Amen. Settle down. You know, relajate. No solo calmarse en el momento, sino también en la vida. Okay? Así que para los que llevan 10 años de, con 18... You can settle down. Relax. <laughs> Next one. Continue. Hang in there. 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 Which is to be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Right? Be patient. Or in Spanish, we can say, aguanta. Be patient. Aguanta. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. This one. Is also can also be used as an imperative, right? As a recommendation. Um, you know what? I can't stand Narbona. You know, he, he is too pushy, and I want to quit my English classes. Hang in there, man. Hang in there. Right? I want that. Narbona is a good teacher, he wants the best for you. <laughs> so, necesitas aguantar o tienes que aguantar. Tienes que ser paciente. You, you have to be patient. You have to, you have to, be to hang in there. Hang in there. Remember that we are hang using there. Yeah, the, uh, um, hang the there. idiom. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Next one. To keep <laughs> one's head above water. To survive. Yep. So if I tell you, hey, um, how are you doing? Como vas? Aquí aguantando. How would you say that? Present continuous. I am trying to keep to keep. One head about one. Water. Yes, you can say, I'm trying to keep my head uh -huh, above water. Water, right? Esto es como estoy tratando de sobrevivir, tratando de mantener el flot. And how do you say, remember that this is the verb, right? Keep is the main verb. Estoy sobreviviendo. Eh. I am keeping one's head above water. I am keeping. La cabeza de quién? My, uh, my, my, my head, head, above, head water. above water. Water. Right? Y si fuera ella? She, she is, is keeping, keeping her head above her water. Head. Her, head. Her, head. Her, head. her head above water. Above water right? Sobrevivir. Next one. To scale back one's hours. 
to scale, to scale by, by one hour. One hour. One hour. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. to reduce the number of hours one works. To reduce, reduce the, number the number of, of hours, hours one, one works. works. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much, guys, to scale back is to reduce in everything you say. En cualquier cosa que digan, scale back es reducir. Scale back. Um, scale back. What can you reduce? Scale back on. OT hours. Yeah. Okay. On OT. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So to reduce. But if you have it like this, it's totally work related. Que ya no trabajes tantas horas. Eso lo puede decir el esposo que extraña a su esposa o viceversa. Right? So, how would you say if you're super sad and you want your couple to reduce the number of hours he or she works? ¿Cómo le dijeran a esa persona, por favor, deja de trabajar tan rápido y tus horas? Honey, please just call back once. <laughs> Honey, yeah. Please. <laughs> please. 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 back. Please. Uh, back. Please. 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 No. Your, your, your hours. hours. Mm -hmm. Cariño, por favor, reduce tus horas. Right? Now, <laughs> acuérdense, guys, que aquí ustedes le pueden meter más. Como por ejemplo, <laughs> el ejemplo de to keep one's head about water. Le metimos, I am trying to. Estoy tratando de mantener mi cabeza sobre el agua. So, sobrevivir, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Entonces, su verbo principal es tratar. Lo demás es complemento. Hey, trata de sobrevivir. Pero en el ejemplo uno, I am keeping my head above water, ahí ya no es parte del complemento. Entonces, cuando nosotros tenemos un verbo en un idiom como este, ese verbo se puede conjugar. O sea, puede ser nuestro verbo principal. Aquí, I am keeping my head above water. Yo estaba sobreviviendo. I was keeping... My head about water. Yo voy a sobrevivir. Yeah. I'm going to keep my head about water. Y con Will? I will. My head about water. I will keep my head about water. So siempre pónganle atención al verbo. El verbo es lo que ustedes van a conjugar. Ya sea tirarlo al complemento como el, ejer como el ejemplo 2. Estoy tratando de mantener mi cabeza o ya sea como verbo principal. Estoy manteniendo. Any questions on this? No. No? All right. No question. Next one. Stressed out. 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 Uh -huh. um, let me give you a tip real quick guys esto no es parte de la clase pero yo se lo quiero dar pongan atención please pay attention um, yo les había mencionado antes que las palabras estas terminan en tres sonidos vea uh -huh. el, el de y el it que son los verbos regulares en pasado cuando Just una so. palabra termina en t o de cualquiera de las dos por ejemplo white o stress. Y luego tienen una vocal como out, la O, out, bueno, es el mismo aquí. Van a sostener esa T y se la van a dejar caer a la O. No lo van a separar. Así que van a decir wipe ta, wipe out. Wipe out. No decimos, no lo separamos, no decimos wipe out, sino que la T le cae encima a la O. Wipe out. Wait, out. Just stressed out. Stressed out. Oh. Mm -hmm. So remember, guys, anoten lo que son no en esta clase. Cuando las palabras terminan en sonido de T o sonido de D, 
y va enseguida de una vocal. Esto se llama un held sound, es un sonido sostenido. Pero ustedes anótenlo, que la T o la D le cae encima la vocal. Y ahí ustedes escriban cómo lo escuchan. Wiped out, wiped out, stressed out, stressed out, wiped out. Got it? Yes. Yes. All right. So what is the meaning of a stressed out, guys? Mucho estrés. Estresado. Mucho estrés. Estresado. So this, how do you say estresado. estoy estresado con esta clase? Estresado. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I am stressed so, out. Uh, I'm stressed out. out. Uh -huh. out. In in this class. With this class, about this oh, class. With this class. Yeah. <laughs> Después le voy a explicar cuando el objeto va en medio. No lo quiero confundir. This class is stressed me out, pero no ahorita. So, how do you say estoy estresado? I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. Good job. And the last one, sleep one's mind. Sleep one's mind. So now that you saw this, guys, ¿qué vamos a ocupar en vez de ones? My, yours, your, your, their, their, is, is, Pair. Pair. It's, yeah. We are missing one. Or. Our. Correct. Our. That's right. So you can replace it. What is the meaning of the sleep one's mind? Se lo olvida de eso. Se me chimpoteó. So, how do you say, se me olvidó? Se me olvidó. I, I forgot. I forgot. Pues sí, hombre, pero. I sleep my mind. I sleep my mind. Wait, 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 wait. I sleep my mind. I am asleep my mind. Remember, se me olvidó. I am. 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 I I que están hablando de, de, la, de, de, están hablando algo, de la mente o un recuerdo, es algo, ¿no? De, de algo que se te olvidó. Exacto. Y cualquier cosa que se le olvidó es el it. Acuérdense, uh -huh. guys, que necesitamos uh -huh. el subject verb complement. So, se me chispoteó. It slipped my mind. Y se me va a olvidar. Uh -huh. It will, it will, it will sleep my mind. It will sleep my mind. Yeah, se me va a chispotear. Any questions here? No. Good. Ya vamos llegando al punto, guys, que solo toca memorizarse las cosas, ¿no? All right, I'm going to send this to you, my friends. And uh, what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to write a short paragraph you know, try to relate it with common issue, common issues with machinery. But if you can't, just give me a very short paragraph. Okay? Traten de darme un ejemplo con cada uno y háganlo paso. I'm going to send this to WhatsApp, but I'm going to take attendance real quick, just a second. So guys, how do you say estoy muy cansado? I'm white out. I'm wiped out. out. That's right. Tengo mucho en mi plato, en mis hombros. I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot on my plate. You need to settle down. You need to settle down. Simplemente settle down. 
Tienes que calmarte. Ahí sí. You need to settle down. Aguanten, amigos. Hang in there. That's right. Sobrevivan, like in The Walking Dead. Trying to have a boat water. Try to keep Trying to have a boat water. Keep a boat water. Keep a boat water. Keep a boat water. Sobrevivan. Uh, por favor, reduce tus horas laborales. Please scale back your hours. Please scale back your hours. Y si lo quisiéramos poner en, en futuro, mi amor, voy a reducir horas en el trabajo por ti. Love. Mm. I'm going to scale back my hours. Uh -huh. My love, uh, very romantic, or baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, I'm going to scale. I'm going to scale back my hours. I want to be with you more time. Y después, ¿qué le va a decir la, la señora ya cuando lo tenga todos los días en la casa? Se me fue la onda, me chispoteó. And you can do it in context, guys. Hey, acordame que se me va a olvidar. Please remind me, because it will slip my mind. Context is the key. Last attendance before you go to the breakout room, guys. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde. Not present. Pati Mifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Not present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Eneta Maya Zara. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Sánchez Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. San Alfonso María Escalante. Okay. Rina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabaletín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Amanda de Guasabarca. Present. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Guys, go to the breakout rooms and try to give me a paragraph, right? Uh, so related ideas, que las ideas estén relacionadas, try to include at least five. Quizás no todos, but at least five, all right? You got five, I'm going to give you seven minutes, all right? Help each other out. Go for it. Seven minutes, five. Carla Ivania, who's your group? Carla, who's your group? Me, teacher. Yes, yes. Who's your group? Who, who you Ana Maria. With? Ana Maria. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, vamos a hacer oración. So, what we have to do today? Okay, let me check. Um, yeah, I think that we are going. To... Uh -huh, guys. You're going to create examples, at least with five, creating a paragraph. So that means related ideas. Use the, 
using the words that that you share, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did send it to the group. Um, check right now. You got seven minutes, so think okay. fast. It's like you create a conversation or no 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 just, just, uh, just writing down a short paragraph. Un pequeño párrafo. Me sigue dando las okay. ideas. Mm. Okay, okay. Como el contexto que yo le okay, di. Okay. Right? Baby, voy, voy, a, voy a hacer menos hora. Ya a los dos días. Ya me estresaste. ¿Ya? Okay. On it. Help each other out. Don't work uh, individually. Hi, girls. How are you doing? Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. So, remember, just create examples and put them in context. It's not a conversation. Un parrafito pequeño. Y traten de unir las cinco ideas. ¿ve? Así como el ejemplo que yo les di del pobrecito que daba de trabajar y se le estresó la doña. Ok. See you in six minutes. Uh, I want... I want to calm... To settle down. Yep. But I am stressed out. Good job. Eh, estoy muy estresado, pero voy a ser paciente también. No sé cómo, cómo unirlo. Yeah, everybody, you know, chipping in, todo el mundo dando ideas to contribute. Sin embargo, however, eh, como dijo, dijo, please scale back your hours. Como reduce tus horas. ¿Cómo podríamos poner esa conectar con, la, con las oraciones que tenemos? She, she, además, y reducir sus horas de trabajo, puedo poner. Ella uh -huh. and install back one hour and that was good. Okay. Entonces, she needs to she need to scale scale back uh, your hours. I don't know. Hair. No, no. Hair. Hair. She needs to scale back. To scale back. Third person. She needs. She needs. Yeah. She needs. Yes. She needs to scale back one hour. Scale back. Scale back her hours. Oh. Scale back her hours. Yes. Her hours. Her hours. Let's go by her hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Her hours of work, Saria? Sus horas de trabajo. Sus horas de trabajo. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Sí, como complemento. Here's hours of work. Hours of work. Okay. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo dijeron? Perdón. You got three minutes, guys. Ok. Vaya. Ya vieron que ahí dejé de grabar sus nombres, ¿verdad? Ay, que ya puso el mío, ¿verdad? Good job. I like, guys, guys, I like what you're doing. Just remember, it is just a quick paragraph, not a conversation. Oh, ¿Es sí? It is just a quick paragraph. Es un pasajito rápido. No es conversación. Aunque si ya lo hicieron así, démosle, sigamos. No worries. La cosa es que lo pongan en contexto. So it's okay. Ok.
Okay, continue, please. All right, I'm going to let you work. We have like two minutes, okay? Okay. I have a lot. I have a lot. Pero ya voy a llevar el long, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era que decías tú, René? Tengo mucho que hacer en mi casa. Y supuestamente eso es, I have a lot to do at home. I have a lot of my at home. Uh -huh. um, I have a lot of my plate. My plate? Uh-huh. <clears throat> my plate, the lugar. Mm, let me see how can we use it. I have a lot of my plate at home. Tengo mucho que hacer en casa. I have a lot of my uh -huh. plate at home. I have a lot of my plate. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of my plate at home. At home, yeah. Okay. And remember, it, it's a short paragraph. Mm -hmm. At home. Como I, dijo, have I have a lot of... I have, I have a lot of my plane at home. At home. My plane. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I'm The third is you need. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All hello, right, guys. Teacher. Since you have had very little time, I'm gonna ask for volunteers. But, but, but you know, kind of quick. Eh, I, yo, yo, Fernando. Mi Go ahead. Eh, ye, no ocupé nada de traductor. Bueno, no ocupamos nada de traductor. Fueron ideas unidas. Y a ver si, si conjugamos bien los tiempos también. Go for it. Okay. Eh, the last days, I was to keep my head above water. Can you, can, you, can you share it, please, what you did? Yes. Yeah, go ahead and share the screen, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. oh. uh, the last days I was to keep my head above water because I have a lot on my plate. I, I am white now. I want to settle down, but I am stressed out. Mm -hmm. However, I'm going to hang in there and I know what then I will finish all my tasks. I'm going to schedule my hours for getting more time with my family. Good job. Good job. I liked it. You and your group did a great job. Um, there are things that we can improve, right? But I mm -hmm. will explain that to you later. This, for example, is a comma splice. After a mm -hmm. sentence, you need to mm -hmm. have a period, but I will explain that to ah, you. Ah, okay, no, okay, okay. I think it's an intermediate six or advanced two, something like that. Pero la conjugación? Yeah, uh, just this one. I was to keep, it's like, you can say, I want to keep my head above water, or I am trying. Ah. Uh, hi, cierto, cierto. Mm -hmm. So leave it there, leave it there. Guys, this is a very good example on how you can use all these idioms into context. Do you have any comment on uh, Fernando's group work? ¿Tienen algún comentario o pregunta acerca del trabajo de Fernando y su grupo? Mm. I went to school my for giving more time with my family. Mm, no. Okay. Era, Very good. Teacher, pero era I was or I want. I want to. I want to. I want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, go ahead and stop sharing. And I need 
one more group as volunteer, please. Just one more. Me, Sabrina. Go ahead. Okay. My sister is white, white out. White out. Mm -hmm. White out. She has white a lot of her play. Yes. She needs to settle down. To settle down, uh huh. To settle down. She needs to scale back her hours of work. Good. She stress. She stress out from a lot of a work. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Good job, Sabrina and, and team. Sabrina and team, because I know yeah. you are working together. Yeah. Guys, esto es exactamente lo que se necesita. Okay, poco a poco, a ir agarrando todo para pegar las ideas like this. No necesita ser como Shakespeare enamorado para hablar inglés. Lo más sencillo, mejor. Okay, no crean que tienen que ser unos grandes elocuentes. All right, so guys, thank you very much for your hard work and dedication. Um, felicidades con, con, um, okay, con el reading. Uh, I'm super happy with the reading. Also, I'm super happy that you're able to use these idioms and phrasal verbs. Um, todos mañana, dándole fuerte a esta semana, la última, guys, démosle con todo. Tratemos de pegarle al full house. Siempre me hace falta uno. Right? Tratemos de pegarle al full house. Mañana vamos a continuar ocupando el should, que ya lo vimos en este módulo. ¿Ok? Pero vamos a practicar un poquito más. Y acuérdenme, voy a tratar de que practiquemos un poquito esto al nomás venir, ya saben, ¿verdad? Pues pasemos lo de mañana y van a hacer lo mismo que hoy, pero lo vamos a hacer mañana. Y también vamos a tratar de trabajar un poquito con el have to. ¿Ok? Que es para experiencia. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to stay with Miriam and Carolina. The rest of you, thank you. And get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Have yourself bye a bye. great night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, Miriam. Dígame. Okay. Eh, teacher, yo quiero refuerzo del tema 12. A 12. No, 12. Oh, quiero ver este en 16. Yep, 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 yep. Let me get there. Okay. Okay. Vamos a tema 12, tema 12. Bolero. Present perfect. Yes. Ok, good. ¿Cuáles son sus dudas? A mí se me complica realizar la, las oraciones uh -huh. en negative y en affirmative. Tengo una uh -huh. interrogante porque en la clase el, la negative la hacemos con contracción y solo así es permitido. No, no, no. No, no es necesario contraerlo, pero es como más natural. Es lo más natural. Es lo más natural, sí. La gente contrae mucho esto porque es un auxiliar, entonces sí lo contraen. Ok. Y igual en la, en la tarea número 12 tuve problemas. Ok. Vaya. Entonces vamos a empezar con present perfect. ¿Te, te acuerdas tú cuándo es que se ocupaba? No. No. Ok. Um, ¿Ya has comido pupusa loca? Yes. Ok. ¿Cuántas veces? Mm, three. Three times. Ok. Um, ¿Ya te has subido al tagada? No. No. <ríe> ok, never, never. Never. Ok, no es parte de tu experiencia de vida, ¿no? No. Ok, ¿ya has viajado a otro país? Yes. Ok, ¿cuántas veces? Three. How many times? Where? Eh, Guatemala, uh -huh. Costa Rica. Ok, nice. Entonces, tú ya has hecho eso, vea. Entonces, ¿Sí? ¿podés volver a ir a Guatemala? Yes. Si tú querés. Pero no es necesario. ¿eh? No nos interesa preguntarte eso. Porque eso ya es futuro. Ahora, si yo te pregunto, ¿cuándo fuiste? Ok. ¿Qué sí? ¿Cuándo fui? Ajá. Febr February. February. 
Ok. ¿Qué es? Entonces eso ya es el pasado, ¿no? El presente, per, el presente perfecto se ocupa para eso. Y mucha gente se confunde porque dice presente, pero estás hablando de tu experiencia. ¿Por qué es presente? Porque a día de hoy es parte o no de tu experiencia de vida. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces ese es el presente perfecto. El, y el have como auxiliar es igual que en español. Yo he viajado. ¿Ya? Ahí está. Okay. El, yo he viajado. Ella ha eh, tomado horchata de coco caliente. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa es la base del present perfect. Tú puedes decir lo que has hecho, ¿ya? puedes decir dónde, puedes decir a qué horas, a, bueno, a qué horas no, puedes decir cuántas veces, pero no cuándo, porque si te ocupas cuándo y es pasado. Uh, okay. ok. Entonces, vamos con la estructura aquí rapidito. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento en, en el uso? No, teacher. Vale. Entonces vamos a tener el sujeto más el have o has, vea. Más el verbo eh, en pasado participio. Más el complemento. Entonces, si tú me quieres decir yo he viajado a Costa Rica. ¿Cómo sería? I am has. I am. ¿A dónde está el am ahí? En no. I have. Ajá. ¿no? Uh -huh. Chivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have. Ah, vaya, vamos aquí. Te voy a poner esto. Have, okay. lo vamos a ocupar con I, you, okay. we y they. Significa lo mismo, solo que esto del inglés de, lo quisieron hacer un grupito específico. Has va con tercera persona y she e it. Ok. Entonces, ahora que sabemos esto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de yo he ido a Costa Rica? Um, I. Ajá. The auxiliary. Has. Has para I. No. Uh, I have. Correct. Good. I have. ¿Cuál es el? Aquí hay que memorizarse los verbos, ¿no? Es la Going. tercera columna. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have. Vaya. Go. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Going. Went. Went. Ajá. Go, went. Y el pasado participio, que es la tercera columna, gone. Gone. Uh -huh. I have gone to Costa Rica. ¿Cuántas veces? How many times? Three. Three times. Muy bien. Entonces, acá, Miriam, tenés que memorizarte los verbos por obligación, o por lo menos tener una lista. Ok. ¿Ya? ¿Te has fijado que generalmente los verbos irregulares cambian? Como por ejemplo, go, when, con. Yes. Ajá, entonces ocupamos la tercera columna siempre. Pero en los verbos regulares es el mismo. Por ejemplo, travel, traveled, traveled. Es lo mismo. ¿Cómo okay. es la diferencia? Si tú tenés el auxiliar have. Es viajé, perdón, viajar, viajé en pasado, viajado, viajado. comer, comí, que es el pasado, comido, comido. He comido, he viajado, he disfrutado, he construido todas esas terminaciones. Um, so, how do you say he ido a Costa Rica tres veces? I have gone, gone. Uh -huh. Costa Rica, three times. Good job. Él ha ido a Costa Rica. He have uh -huh. going to. Mm, el going to. Gone, gone to Costa uh -huh. Rica, three times. ¿Y cuál le ponemos? Have o has para he? Eh, yes, has. Muy bien. I has gone, gone uh -huh. to Costa Rica, three times. Muy bien. He has. He has. He has. ¿Y la negativa? ¿Cuál es la estructura? ¿Te acordás? ¿O en tus notas? Sí. Uh -huh. He has. Him. Muy bien. Eso es todo. Entonces la estructura sería lo mismo, solo que le pones el not. Ya sea con, contraído o no. ¿Cómo decís? Yo no he ido a Costa Rica. Uh... Yo okay. no he ido. Ajá. Ocupa el mismo ejemplo porque estamos ocupando la misma base. I 
Hassan. Hassan. I Hassan. I ha haven't. I haven't. I haven't not. I have not. Uh huh. Uh, going, gone to uh -huh. Costa Rica. Muy bien. Y si fuera él no ha ido a Costa Rica. Sería he. Uh -huh. Has. Correct. No. Not. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica. To Costa Rica. Muy bien. Entonces, eso es la, la, la estructura. Y si fuera pregunta, ¿te acordás qué es lo que pasa para, para hacer la pregunta? Sí. ¿Qué pasa? Eh, qué se, ca se cambia de posición el sujeto. ¿Con qué? Con el has o el haven. Muy bien. Ajá. Con el auxiliar, el auxiliar de turno. Sí. Entonces, si, si tenemos, digamos que tú no te diste cuenta porque tú viste la película 50 primeras citas de Adam Sandler. No. No, qué bárbara. Búsquela. 50 first dates. Muy buena con Drew Barrymore. Okay. A la chava tiene un accidente y se le olvida todo. Entonces, todos los días le tienen que estar recordándolo. ¿no? Ah, ya sé cuál es la ah. de la pinche. Yeah. Que sale un pingüinito. Entonces, yeah. imagínate que te pasa eso. ¿Cómo te preguntaras? He ido a Costa Rica. Este. Have. Ajá. Hay Costa Rica. Casi. ¿Qué nos hace falta? ¿De una estructura? ¿Ya te la puse ahí? Have. Eh, el verbo en pasado. Ajá. Más el complemento. Yes. Entonces. ¿Cuál es el verbo pasado participio? Comí eh, viajado. Yes. So, in English. Vaya, no. cuando acá, algo que estoy detectando, Miriam, es que nos cuesta la estructura. Ok. ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que yo te aconsejo es, siempre en un papel, eh, como les decía antes, ya he jugado bachillerato stop. Yes. Te pones animal y pones un animal. Entonces, toma, dale vuelta a la página y pones, por ejemplo, sujeto, eh, auxiliar, verbo pasado participio, complemento y pasarle las líneas. ¿vale? ¿Qué sujeto mm -hmm. ahorita? Hay. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar mm -hmm. para hay? Have. Have. Dame un verbo. Y ahí, eh. si no, si, si cuesta, porque yo te soy honesto, ya saben, yo estoy estudiando catalán. Aquí yo tengo mis notas. Uh -huh. Literalmente. Y no te miento. Lo que yo les digo a ustedes lo hago yo. ¿Ya? Porque eh, como, en, como en español los verbos cambian bastante. Entonces esto es lo que yo hago. Hacerlo tú también. Poner las columnas para que no te falten partes de la estructura. Okay. Eso te va a ayudar mucho. Y siempre no es necesario que te memorices las cosas. Te lo digo. Aquí también está mi lista de aquí tengo la comida. Por ejemplo, no, no, uh -huh. tal vez no me entendés la letra, pero como yo no me acuerdo, no me las he memorizado todas, tengo las cosas acá. Estoy escribiendo, vuelvo a ver, ah, comer se dice de tal manera, plac, y lo escribo. Entonces eso tiene que ser un poquito más mecánico, eh, un poquito con más estructuras para que a ti no te cueste tanto. Okay. Okay? Entonces, I have gone to Costa Rica, solo le damos vuelta. En vez de I have, vamos a poner have I. Have I. Have I gone to Costa Rica? ¿La respuesta? ¿Siempre contestamos con el auxiliar? Yes. Yes. I have. Yes, ha, I have. Uh -huh. ¿La negativa? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Y si quisiéramos preguntar que sí, ya con esto terminamos. Si quisiéramos preguntar si él ha ido a Costa Rica, ¿cómo fuera? Eh, sería... Has. Ajá. He. Muy bien. Gone to Costa Rica. Muy bien. ¿Y la respuesta sería? Eh, ¿Para que sí? Yes. Yes, he has. Muy bien. Con el mismo de la pregunta y la negativa. No, I haven't. No, no, I, no. No. He. Ha, eh, 
No. Dale, dale. No, I have Y el I, que no estamos con he. No, he has him. Ahí estamos. Entonces, um, no te preocupes en salir con un montón de oraciones nuevas. Miriam, eh, quizás no es momento todavía para no enchivolarnos tanto. Tema que te cueste, agarrar, por ejemplo, la afirmativa, la misma la pasas a negativa, luego pregunta, ¿ya? y así, pero con la misma, para que tú vayas viendo los cambios y tú puedas identificar los patrones. ¿Ok? okay. Y cualquier pregunta, porfa, sé que son atriados, pero me puedes contactar y yo te mando un audio del tema que necesites. Pero la cosa es que hay que practicar mucho. Si no, sí se nos pone costa arriba todo. Te agradezco tu compromiso. Muy buen trabajo con la lectura, conectándote. Y nada, mamá, solo sígale metiendo, que esto hay que, hay que meterle para dominarlo. Es como un potro salvaje. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Gracias, miren. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.